In this video, we're going to carry on where we left off on our review of Module 3. We finished off on these word problems, and so when we look at question 25, you complete a bike run race of 35 kilometers. The running portion is 12 kilometers. Write a fraction for the biking portion. Okay, well, let's write what we do know. We know that the running portion was 12 out of the 35 kilometers, which means that the biking portion is the rest. So we can take the total, 35, and we can take away the 12 kilometers for the running, and that will give us our value. So 35 minus 12 is 23. So 23 out of the 35 kilometers was for the biking. For number 26, six of the 17 students in class have blue eyes. What fractional part have eyes that are not blue? So 6 out of the 17 have blue eyes. So again, that means that the rest do not have blue eyes. So we're going to take the total, 17, and take away the 6 that are blue, and that's going to equal 11. So 11 out of the 17 students do not have blue eyes. For lessons 3.7 to 3.9, we learned how to multiply and divide proper fractions and also how to round mixed numbers. Let's review these skills. First up, multiplying fractions. If we take a fraction such as 2 thirds and multiply it to something like 9 fourteenths, we can then see that we're going to be multiplying our numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. But before we do that, we can cross reduce, which can help make the numbers simpler to multiply. So I'm going to cross reduce 2 and 14. Both of these are divisible by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. And the same goes with the other diagonal. 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3. So I can divide by 3 and divide by 3. Now that I've simplified within the multiplication problem, I can multiply our numerators, 1 times 3 is 3, and multiply the denominators, 1 times 7 is 7. So our answer here is 3 sevenths. For division of fractions, we can set it up very similarly. So we can use the same fractions, but now we have division. The problem with division is if we try to do 2 divided by 9 and 3 divided by 14, we're going to get decimals. And we're not able to cross reduce with division. So in order to get around this and to make the problem easier for us, we're going to keep our first fraction the way it is. And instead of working a division question, we're going to change the division to multiplication. So we're going to change it to its opposite. And that means we're going to also need to change the second fraction to its opposite. So we're going to flip 9 fourteenths to its reciprocal 14 over 9. What that does for us, because we've changed it to a multiplication question, is it allows us to cross-reduce. But what we have here is a problem that cannot be cross-reduced. 2 and 9 do not share factors, neither do 3 and 14. So all we can do is multiply across. 2 times 14 is 28, and 3 times 9 is 27. And what we have here is an improper fraction, so that's not in simplified form. So we're going to change that to a mixed number. 27 divides into 28 one time, with 1 left over. So our final answer here is 1 and 1 27. So we have the same fractions, one is multiply, multiplication and one is division. We can see that our answers are quite a bit different. When we look at rounding mixed numbers, it helps us to estimate some problems. So if we have a fraction, a mixed number like 2 and 2 thirds, what we do is we ask ourselves, is the fractional value going to round the 2 up to a 3, or is it going to round it down to a 2? The way to know is by judging the fraction. 
is the fraction at half? So is the numerator at half of the denominator? Two out of three is more than half. So that means that this whole number is going to round up. So two and two thirds rounds up to three. If we had two and one third, again, we would be judging, does it go down to a two or up to a three? It's the fraction that determines this. One out of three is not at halfway, so this is going to round down. So two and one thirds rounds down to two. It's closer to two than it is to three. Question 27 and 28 help us to practice multiplication and division of proper fractions. You can try these, pause the video, and then I'll show the solutions. So for 27, we have 5 sixths multiplied to 2 thirds. We are going to be multiplying numerators and denominators, but before we do, we can look for any cross-reducing that's possible. And we do have possibility here with 2 and 6. Both are divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now we can multiply. 5 times 1 is 5 for the numerator, and 3 times 3 is 9 for the denominator. Our answer is 5 ninths. For 28, it is division. So remember, when we are dividing, we are going to change to multiplication. So we're going to keep the 10 thirteenths as it is, change the division to multiplication, and because we're changing it to multiplication, we have to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. We're going to flip to the opposite. 40 26 becomes 26 fortieths. We look for cross-reducing. We have 10 and 40 on one of our diagonals. We can divide by 10. 40 divided by 10 is 4. And on the other diagonal, we have 13 and 26. We can divide by 13. And 26 divided by 13 is 2. Now we can multiply our numerators. 1 times 2 is 2. And our denominator, 1 times 4, is 4. Sometimes this happens where we do the cross-reducing properly, but we still end up with a fraction that's not in lowest terms. It's just sometimes the way it happens. So we're going to have to do a further reduction, dividing both the numerator and denominator by 2 to get this fraction down to its lowest terms, which is 1 half. For number 29 and 30, we're not going to solve the actual. We're just going to estimate. So we're going to round each mixed number and then solve with our estimates. So 6 and 5, 6. Because 5 out of 6 is more than halfway, 6 and 5, 6 will round to 7. 7 and 2 thirds, 2 out of 3 is more than halfway. So we're going to round that 7 and 2 thirds up to an 8. So our estimated answer is 56. For number 30, 10 and 2 thirteenths. 2 out of 13 is not at halfway, so this will round down to 10. And for our 1 and 7 twelfths, 7 out of 12 is at halfway. 6 out of 12 is exactly half, so 7 is more than that, so 1 and 7 twelfths will round to 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so 5 is our estimate. For our last two lessons, we dealt with mixed numbers, both multiplication and division, and then we looked at application problems. And even beyond our exam, we'll be solving application problems with fractions to practice this important skill. When we multiply or divide mixed numbers, so for example, two and a half multiplied to three and three quarters, we need to first make the fractions into improper fractions. Mixed numbers, it's not ideal because we're multiplying 2 times 3, 2 times 3 quarters, half times 3, and half times 3 quarters. That's what we're doing here. So to simplify this process, we change to improper fraction form. That way we can go through the multiplication in one step. So 2 and a half is 5 halves, and 3 and 3 quarters is 15 quarters. What we cannot do here is cross-reduce for this example. So that happens sometimes. 
where we can't cross reduce, so we're going to go ahead and multiply our numerators. 5 times 15 is 75, and 2 times 4 is 8. So we end up with an improper fraction as our answer, so we need to make sure that we put that improper fraction back as a mixed number. So 8 goes into 75 9 times. 9 times 8 is 72, so the leftover is 3. 75 minus 72 is 3 out of 8, so 9 and 3 eighths. If we take those same numbers and we divide them, 2 and a half divided by 3 and 3 fourths, we need to do the same first step. So we're first going to change them to improper. So this will be 5 halves divided by 15 quarters. But now, because it's division, we're going to change our operation. So we'll keep the 5 halves, we'll change to multiplication, and we will also change the second fraction to its reciprocal, its opposite. So 15 fourths becomes 4 fifteenths. Now we're in a situation where we can cross reduce. We have 2 and 4, so we can divide these both by 2, and we have 5 and 15, and both are divisible by 5. So we end up with our numerators 1 times 2 is 2, and our denominator, whoops, made a little boo-boo there, divide by 5, that should be a 3, 1 times 3 is 3. So we end up with 2 thirds. So we can see just how different our answers are multiplication of mixed numbers compared to division of mixed numbers. So for 31, we're first going to change our fractions to improper fractions, and then we'll multiply. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So we have 15 fourths multiplied to a whole number 8, so we're going to put that 8 over 1. We can divide 4 and 8 both by 4. And then we multiply our numerators. 15 times 2 is 30. Multiply our denominators. 1 times 1 is 1. So our final answer will be 30. For number 32, we're going to change our mixed number. So this will be 21 fourths and then we're going to divide by 7 over 1. Remember that when you have division, you're going to keep the first fraction, change to multiplication, and flip the second fraction to its reciprocal. This will make it easier for us to divide. So we're going to then take 21 and 7, cross reduce, and we don't have the ability to cross reduce with the 4 and the 1 on the other side. So we're going to multiply our numerators. 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 1 is 4. Our answer here is 3 quarters. For our word problems, we're looking at an increase of 1 quarter. So we are going to say, well, what is 1 quarter of 355,000? So the way to calculate that is to go ahead and multiply. It's one quarter of 355,000. Now these are some pretty big numbers. We're going to cross reduce here. And when we divide 355,000 by 4, we're going to get 88,750. This means that the price increased $88,750. For B, how much did that house now cost at one year later? We started with $355,000 and we need to add $88,750. This will give us a result. Uh, of $443,750 in 2016. In the next video, we'll look at one more word problem and then we'll be ready for the final or for the module three exam.